So did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do hood rat stuff for my friend. Dumbbell PR three weeks out. Maddie's. Maddie's. Four of my supplement stack. So you guys remember seeing me take this, Tonket Ali. It's supposed to be a natural herbal extract that's supposed to help increase your testosterone. I up my dose a little bit, so I'm taking two capsules, which is the recommended dose of this. I was taking one before, like during my bulk and everything. So I'm taking two. If anything, just try and keep my testosterone elevated. Maybe bump my free test up a little bit. I'm gonna take all these like right now, basically. So like I said, we're just trying to optimize everything we possibly can these last couple of weeks. So we got magnesium. A lot of people say like, take this at night. It's gonna be better to help you sleep. So 500 milligrams of magnesium glycinate. This one is gonna be much more digestible, bioavailable because it's a glycinate. So that one's gonna be really good. 500 milligrams of that. We're taking zinc, also a glycinate, bisglycinate zinc. Same thing, it's gonna be a little bit more bioavailable. 50 milligrams of that than just your standard, you know, go to Costco and get whatever zinc vitamin they have. This one gonna be a little bit more, you know, your body's gonna be able to uptake more of it. We're taking zinc, overall health, help increase the testosterone, good for immune system, all that good stuff. We've got our vitamin K2 and D3. So D3, this is 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3. So we're taking two capsules of this. So we're getting 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3. Obviously I'm outside a good amount while I'm in Houston here too, but prevent any sort of deficiencies in, uh, in vitamin D. Like we, like we had issues with that a little bit in the past with being a little deficient. I think a lot of that comes from, you know, being in the winter, being in Ohio, not really going outside much, but vitamin D always a good source to have. Boron, I finally got more of this. So we're doing, these are six milligram capsules. So we're doing two of them. We're doing 12 milligrams of boron today. A lot of Reddit threads, a couple studies. Um, it's very, very bro science based, but um, has been shown to, you know, help with potentially increasing testosterone free test. BPN, strong joints, another one I've been taking every day. And I'm not even kidding, like I think on my runs earlier on in prep, it's a, it's a combination of things obviously, but my runs earlier on in prep, I was heavier, my joints were taking a lot of abuse from powerlifting, bodybuilding, running. I'm getting pretty beat up, so I'm taking one of these a day. Sometimes I will take like two a day, and I might even start doing that towards the end of this prep here. Just keep my, my joints as healthy, and, and I feel very smooth, especially after getting good sleep too. This in combination with that, been feeling good. So this has like collagen in it. It's got standardized cartilage, basically, yeah, joint supplement. So we got that. The very, very last thing I'm taking is a fat burner. This is uh, Joe Delvaux's from Gorilla. I'm not promoting this at all, but BPN always had a great fat burner, so I'm hopefully they'll come out with another fat burner too, but just includes like more caffeine, some stimulants, you know, some thermogenics and stuff like that. Get your body heated up, sweating a little bit, and get everything going. So this is like basically the stack right here that we're taking right now. We might take another scoop of electrolytes before we head to the gym, or we'll bring electrolytes with me because these workouts get crazy sweaty. We're going to corrupted strength right now, and it's going to be, it's going to be a messy. Last week we went to Alpha Land for this workout. Wore sweatpants. It was humid out. I probably sweat out half a gallon. Like I mean, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. It was insane. Like I was drenched. Like it looked like I came out of a pool. Right. So on days like that, you need to replenish electrolytes because. You know, you, you want to make sure your muscles can contract properly. Electrolytes are huge, especially when you're in the summertime or in a hot area or whatever. I'm big on it. And when you're running and working out, training all the time. We've got our three scoops of BCAs in here, ready to go. So I'm already like what, like nearly half a gallon through this. So I'm just chugging this thing throughout the day. BCAs, like I said, we're trying to retain as much muscle mass as possible. That's the whole point of everything that I'm doing on this prep right now. We're adding things in as we go, we're trying to optimize. Everything gets optimized this last month. Sleep is optimized. We're getting eight hours per day. No matter what, if we need to sleep a little more, we can do that if we need that, because it gets to that point where your energy gets low, and throughout the day, you start just getting tired like faster. Like, it'll be nighttime, and I'm like, dang, I'm ready for bed. And that's why I'm trying to listen to my cues of, you know, I'm getting tired. <clears throat> I'm getting tired, go to sleep, and recover. So, three scoops of BCAs, we're gonna get all these down right now. We're gonna take some pre-workout too. It's a lot of stuff, but it's just like, you might as well do everything you can while you're on prep. These last three and a half weeks, like, I might as well just push every little natural envelope I possibly can. Get the best result in the end. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great today. So recovered. Run was good this morning. We're gonna knock out this. It's Labor Day, so you know, enjoy some time with family and stuff today. And uh, let's get a good workout. A Little bit of labor on Labor Day, let's get it. So two, oops. Yeah, I'll just do that, so, so, do, do, do. I'll still take that. Two of these bad boys, boom. 
Magnesium, my junkie. Four eyes. Four squares. Yeah. Strong Jones. Boom. Easy. Suggestions. I want it all. Yeah, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I had a run from the sight of the law. We had to switch up the ways, was lost in the fray. The villain was right in the door. So let's tighten the car, cause you know what's going round. Make a move, don't make a sound. Light it up, then hold it down. Woo! We gonna do what we gonna do, so get out of our way. Get out of our way. Cause your hoes and obstacles, we got enough for the game. Fighting all this evil around us all day. Three weeks out, Natty's. Hey, 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 Ryan's starting to get a little bit controversial over here. I'm getting kind of bored a lot, bro. I don't know. You're the fucking king of controversial. What the fuck yo, are you talking I'm, about? Yo, so I'm Natty. He's making me think, I don't know, bro. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. 